what are our favorite Nintendo franchises? Because we were just talking, it was a good segue, we are talking about we would love to see Nintendo focus on games again, which it doesn't seem like they have been, but at least they're launching with a Zelda. It's one that we've played and seems mm -hmm. really fun so far. Um, obviously, Zelda is an easy place to start. I've been replaying, I just beat Majora's Mask 3D again on the um, Nintendo 3DS. I beat Ocarina over Break. I played both of those once a year, I try to. Uh, and now I'm playing through Wind Waker HD. Just in between everything else, I kind of try to play Zelda throughout the year. It's what do you have played probably. Skyward Sword this year? No, not yet. <laughs> this year? It's January 19th, 18th. <laughs> yeah, dude, clock's ticking. Yeah. All right, Get I'll on try it. to play one Zelda a week. Did you do you like Skyward Sword? I do. I hate the introduction to that game. The first two hours are the most boring two hours of Zelda I've ever. We're played. talking about Skyward Sword, right? Yes. Okay, because Twilight Princess doesn't have a fun beginning I, either. Neither does Wind Waker. No, but Skyward Sword is like, have you played a video game before? Yeah. Let me tell you what a sword is. It's a thing that can cut enemies. You but press the A button to swing it with your arm. Fee, your guide. <laughs> fee, Fi, I think it's Fee. If fi, Japanese. full song, whatever. Yeah, she tells you how to solve puzzles throughout the game. Yeah. I don't like her. I, okay, I actually like Skyward Sword more than most people. I'm not just trying to dog you, but I don't like Fee. She tells you like, oh, maybe if you put this electric ball in that socket, it'll power it. It's like, sweet fee, thanks. No, game's got, game's got flaws. But if I, I wanted a built-in strategy guide, I would have built in a strategy guide if I was making that game. <laughs> that was my first assignment at GameSpot, was writing the, the, the game guide for Skyward Sword. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> the dungeons in that ass. game are really good. The one where yes. you have the tablet up in the first section, and it's like a grid, and you're rearranging the rooms to, to fit them. Yeah. That was a really fun dungeon. In general, that game is actually really well designed, and I like the flying a lot as opposed to the sailing of Wind Waker, which I like. But it's I didn't. Boring after I didn't mind the motion controls. I kind of liked them. No, the Wii Motion Plus, it felt good. Yeah. I don't like the art style. Whoa! I really don't. It's like the watercolor distance background. I, I feel. I think it's just Zelda's face that, and like Link's face. I don't like their faces, and that's so weird. <laughs> I'm like so totally, totally like Toon Link loyalist. I love Toon Link more than oh, really? in my oh, life. Okay. But I just that's the that's the one thing I couldn't couldn't get behind. That's fair. For real. I don't know why. I think it's totally not a popular opinion. I just don't like it. Duke was favorite. dreamy, but Zelda did look a little weird. Yeah, right? Yeah. So is uh, Wind Waker your favorite Zelda? Um, No, my favorite Zelda is Majora's Mask. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, what's yours? Uh, Link to the Past. Guess what mine is? I don't know, Mike, Majora's Mask? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, man. okay. I always have to separate it if you're doing 2D Zelda versus 3D Zelda because I, I think they are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So Link to the Past is always my runner-up choice because I yeah. love that one also. I think Link to the Past is as close to perfect as a, a game I've played. Yeah. I'm not a critic or anything. Not Pete, you're you're not. Under, what do you think about <laughs> Link to the Past? <laughs> What do you think about it? Oh, Link? we're digging into this? We're going to talk about Link oh, to the Past? Sure, okay. go for it. Uh, okay, I think the game like totally nailed like immediately the presentation and how you brought it into the story, right? Like, your uncle goes out to like solve some shit. You find him and he's dying. He's like, Bleh, take this sword. You need to do some stuff and save the princess. You're like, all right. It's a dark and stormy night. You're like down in the dungeons doing stuff. Like, you rescue the princess. Like, it all just builds up so fast. Uh, and then you're left essentially in an open world, right? And it has that typical Zelda slash Metroid thing where you got to find items to progress mm. and look for new things, uh, but you have a lot of opportunity to scour the environment for interesting stuff. So then you get to a certain point, and what do you know? You can change the game and flip it on its head and go to like a dark dimension version of the world. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I love that when games do that. Uh, Symphony of the Night did it really well, but Link to the Past did it best first. Um, and it's just a great progression of skills and abilities and equipment culminating to a final battle of Ganon. That was pretty cool. Um, Twitch user Gormond was saying Link Between Worlds is uh, actually really quite good and I agree uh, speaking of Link to the Past I think those mm. games are sort of similar in the way they're structured overall but no that's false false objectively false yes I just said similarly structured Mike you do a, you, you do, do a light you world do know and a then link. you go to a, a mirror world wait what structure are we talking about here because <laughs> the Link Between Worlds you literally it's... buy the item or rent the item okay okay I mean in terms different. of I understand I played both games a lot He's a liar Okay, like between <laughs> worlds, real Zelda you buy fan. the items, you get, you rent the items from whatever his name is, and then after a while you can buy them, and when you die, you lose them if you have not bought them. I'm talking about just the whole second half of the game is in a dark world. Sure, okay. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's all, all I'm saying. That's all you're saying. Please don't interrupt so me. So <laughs> you meant thematically then? No, it's not thematically. Link Between Worlds yeah. is more about the existential dread of being a, game, a character in a game, whereas Link to the Past is more about, like, are any of us really like, permanent <laughs> beings? No, we're not. <laughs> And maybe there's a dark world in all of us. You want to talk about <laughs> you want to talk about visuals That's putting you off. Gets angry sometimes when Pete Brown calls him out. <laughs> Link between worlds, I could not stand the. I liked like the general art style, but whenever it did the like 
the 2D I'm art moving along a wall. Stuff. Wait, we were rolling B-roll when you just did that. Oh, Jean you guys missed my dance? Pete, do it again. When you were doing what? That thing where you were like <laughs> shifting <laughs> around a wall to... Yeah. There like, we go. Okay. <laughs> I can hear laughing. <laughs> um, but you like I the high. I, I no part. longer like Link Between Worlds after seeing what you just did. <laughs> you're always going to see my dumb ass just doing that. Link Between Worlds <laughs> is one of the best Zelda games. Bravio, that's his name. No, yeah, no, I yes. totally knew that in you're my right. head. No, it's, it's a great game, but it, it's no Link to the Past. That's not what I had said. I just said they were similar in well, structure. But anyway, it. Um, it was implied. Majora's hmm. Mask uh, is my favorite by far. It's my favorite game. I really love Majora's Mask. Mm -hmm. I. Uh, when it came out on 3DS, I went to the midnight release and then I played it like for a week straight so much that my eyes hurt and I hadn't done so that in years. You're the person that that warning is for at the beginning yes, of every game. Yes, exactly. That Nintendo, <laughs> like, you know, why are they saying how this? every Nintendo game is like, like the, the newer ones are like, you should take a break. Like mm -hmm. I'm the person that's for. You're like get out of my way. I want to yeah. keep playing. And I was like, I'm 100%ing this uh, and I might die doing it. Yeah. Leave me alone. Uh, you won't even have a trophy to show for it. I know. I literally <laughs> took a picture of the, you talk to the kid and he's like, I have nothing left to tell you or whatever he says. And I was like, yes, I've done it. This is my achievement. I'm seeing just X Kaz in the YouTube chat has said several times Ocarina is better than Majora's Mask. Uh, about like a year ago, I would have agreed. And it probably is better, but I like Majora's Mask more. And I, I think Majora's Mask is super weird and bold, especially considering the fact they were riding on the coattails of Ocarina, which mm -hmm. established like 3D adventure tropes now, but at the time were really novel. Majora's Mask yeah. following up on it, like how super weird it was. You're looking at the boss fights right now. Here's a uh, uh, guy org, face? fish yeah. face, guy org, or Gy yeah, guy org. You just saw Odawa before that. Here's a uh, goat. Kelly, you were saying is one of your favorite boss fights. I really, I just have a lot of fun with goat. I mean, mm -hmm. like, so. When I say it's my favorite Zelda, that's more of a like personal thing than a yeah. objective critic. I mean, I don't think there's total objective. It has serious that. flaws. But um, I just love it thematically so much. I love the dark angle. Um, I love how creepy and weird it is. And Terminus I, is a weird. Place, I yeah. love the like side quest structure a mm -hmm. whole lot. Um, like the cafe quest is, I love it. Cafe and Anju. Yeah. Yeah. The the game in general, I like its focus on side quests. Like you were just saying, it, there's only four main dungeons, unless you count like the end and whatnot. But or unless you want to count like the uh, Gerudo Fortress, the Pirate Fortress, like this. But yeah, everything looks way less cool when he has the bunny hood on. It's he doesn't cute. run faster. I, I opt for the bunny hood over Epona just going through. I Terminal have field. the the Majora's Mask Nendoroid, and I put the bunny ears on him on purpose. Nice. I like it. Yeah. As much as I would love to talk about Zelda for like another hour, if not more, <laughs> uh, I do want to get onto other Nintendo franchises. Uh, I guess Mario is an obvious one. What Mario's you, what, an obvious what one. What about uh, Odyssey? What do you think about Odyssey being set on the Switch in like a semi-real New York City? New know. Donk City? New Donk City? <laughs> but donk donk. I feel really weird about this game. I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel as good as a lot of people seem to. I mean, I don't want to say that I feel super positive. I'm not down on it. I just, I have no idea what to expect from it. Like, how... How? <laughs> We're over on Bleecker. Uh, there's a short Italian man running around yeah. throwing the sentient hat at people. I don't... Just go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. I, what uh, is this? <laughs> what are you doing? This is... Yeah. He actually... There's a question mark on the cross street crossing sign. That street was called Espresso Street, and I just noticed that for the first time. Oh, dang. Espresso or Expresso? It said Espresso. I wasn't wrong. mispronouncing it. It just like, jumps off. I do like the idea of Mario navigating an environment like this. Yeah. I'm just curious how the hell it's going to make sense in context of the world that he exists in. But it's not... It looks like Guacamelee now. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you... Uh, what's your favorite <laughs> Mario game, Pete? Do you have one? It's it's either... It's it's Super Mario World. Okay. It has to be. Mm. I mean, I, I think I really like 3, like a lot of people. Uh, 2, the American version of 2 is certainly different and quirky. Um, and obviously 64 and you know, I mean, there's so many good Mario games. Super Mario world is just the one that I can instantly put in and get into right away and have a hard time. Stop playing. Yeah. Do you have one? I do not have a favorite. Oh, game. I would just say I like Mario the, 64. I just, That's yeah, the correct Mario, answer. There's, there's no favorite. There's, all good. There, yeah. Mario 64 is like the nostalgia one for me cause I'm very young, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. I grew up on the N64 yeah. and Mario 64 is one of my first games I beat by myself. Do you like Yoshi's Island? I don't love Yoshi's Island. What? Yoshi's Island's really good. <laughs> I like Yoshi's Island. 
<laughs> every t- oh god. Are you mocking me? <laughs> no, I'm mocking no. the or baby, baby Mario. Mario. Baby yeah. Mario. We'll clarify next time, please, because I just got really offended. You do sound very similar to him. Yeah, it's true. Should do a cosplay. <laughs> oh god. All right. What about Star Fox? Its last outing was not the best. Star Fox Zero. You reviewed it. What'd you think of it? You loved it. <laughs> it I liked it better at the end than I did at the beginning, uh, but it missed the mark. Um, Star Fox Zero on, sorry, Star Fox 64 on 3DS is the best Star Fox game, hands down. They, they ported that game and did a, put a lot of love into like brushing it up. Um, and I'd love to see Nintendo revisit that series, but I also would be okay if they never touched it again. Okay. Because I don't, I don't think, okay, let me put it this way. If Miyamoto is in control of the series, I don't want him to make another Star Fox game because he is admittedly hell bent on, you know, introducing new ideas and changing things. He doesn't want to do the same thing over and over, which I cannot blame him, but that's what people want from Star Fox. They want an experience that feels familiar, that just has different challenges and a new setting and new events. I think most Star Fox fans will agree. Nintendo 64 got it right. Everything else is not quite there. And of course, the peak was Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> ben Howard this morning was telling me how much he loves that game. I like that game. It's one of my, uh, I think it's uh, underappreciated. Did you ever play Star Fox Assault? Yes. The Namco made That was shooter, right. That was the next one after Adventures, yeah. yeah. I did play it. That was more like a Rogue Squadron-ish game, mm-hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Did you like it? I didn't play a whole lot of it. Because you can go into third person on foot. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Um, do you, are you a Star Fox man, Kelly? No, I don't know a lot about Star Fox. No? I played a little bit of 64. 64 is great. Uh, and then a bunch of people are, John Smith just goes Metroid. So I guess that's yeah. oh, as good a segue as any. Yeah. Let's do John it. Smith on YouTube, if that's his real name, just said Metroid. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is the one that keeps getting brought up for throughout the Wii U life cycle. And now that the Switch is coming out, we we're wondering when is Metroid going to come back if it the, is because Federation Force on the 3DS was not too promising. This yeah. is kind of falling into the same issue that I described just a second ago, right? Where Nintendo really wants to do new things with the franchises they have. Zelda is kind of an exception, but also it falls into line because Breath of the Wild is this sort of new open world experience, but it's also a return to form. It's kind of similar to the first game in some ways. Uh, for Metroid, people want quote unquote uh, Metroidvania, or as I prefer, Castle Roid. Um, and sounds like a weird steroid. I know. Not good. There are so many games that make that style now. So could Nintendo really make another? Could they justify investing in another game that's just going to follow in the footsteps of the games that followed in the footsteps of its game? Mm-hmm. If you know what I mean, like yeah. that might be just too redundant for them. It's going to start using its like the people that followed it as inspiration now. Is that even like a viable thing to do? So, I mean, I would argue that yes, it is. I think because the gameplay is one portion of Metroid, or should I say the structure of the game, Uh, but the gameplay itself is important and it's tied to Samus directly. And Samus is a character that people really like. She was not handled appropriately in Other M. Yeah. Um, So I think Metroid Prime series is great. That handled her really well. Mm -hmm. But I think people need a new Metroid game to really just like hone in on the fact that Samus is a fucking badass and she is in an adventure that you all want. So I... Play, play to your your fans' requests, Nintendo. That's the only thing I can... That's the advice they need, and they just need to like follow through on that. I might be in the minority here, but I would actually rather see a more Metroid Prime-ish Metroid. I would be happy with Metroid. another one as well. I, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think just Super Metroid, is, like you mentioned, like I don't think you're going to get better than Super Metroid in that style of game. No, but I mean, Metroid Prime even kind of... You know, it... it it peaked in the first game, I thought. Like, I felt like it kind of yeah. was dim- like d- you know, diminishing with every new release. Um, I like Corruption more than Echoes. I think Echo is the, sp- the one that people pl- didn't like as much because of the whole, like, dark mm-hmm. shadow mm-hmm. light play. It was actually kind of a stressful game. I like Corruption a lot, though. But, yeah, I, I agree. Metroid Prime, I think, is the best one. It's kind of like a Metal Gear Solid. I like Metal Gear Solid less as they go on. Mm. Except for, I like 5 a lot. It has nothing to do with the Nintendo, but <laughs> it's a tangent. How dare you? Yeah. But anyway, Metro Prime would be fantastic. Uh, what are the franchises? There's a lot of Nintendo franchises. Can I talk about Animal Crossing now? Oh, yeah. You want to talk about <laughs> Animal Crossing? I do. I oh, really do. sweet. Yes message on uh, yes. YouTube just gave you the perfect. Is that you? Do you have your phone under the table? Oh, yeah. Let's I'm just tight. <laughs> I'm also the person who asked about Undertale, which it would totally not come to the Switch because it requires PC hardware. Anyway. Um, so sell me an Animal Crossing. So As if people haven't tried to already. Animal Crossing is basically just a game full of chores. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I like about it is it's um, it's one of my like de-escalating my anxiety games. Okay. Um, I'll, you just check on it for 15 minutes a day. 
and you're slowly building up to something really nice. Like you can build up a really beautiful town or if you want to have as much money as as humanly possible. Um, and so it's it's like a slow burn rewarding uh like feedback system of a game it's really it's it's unique in that way and i really enjoy it for that um i didn't like city folk on wii i think it's pretty good on handheld i loved wild world i think i played wild world every day for two years straight Hmm. like a big problem and then when new leaf (laughs) came out i lost my mind (laughs) so um and then i lost my save and and that now i haven't played it and i'm really sad never played a minute of yeah. Any Animal Crossing game. It's so great. I played the original on GameCube, <laughs> and it, I couldn't get into it too much. But what I do love about the series is that these it's like your town is persistent. So if you boot up your GameCube save now, mm. your town is in shambles. <laughs> Everyone is depressed. <laughs> Nothing yeah. is good because you haven't played it in 10 years. It's on fire. Everyone <laughs> hates you. I think that's a really cool idea. Yeah. You but, come back in the town's for like, Pete Brown. That's a name <laughs> I haven't heard in a long time. Yeah. I'm just dead. If I didn't have as many games um, to play as I do, I my whole plan is to get it on my Japanese language 3DS um, because it has the furigana, like the readings written above all the kanji. So it's really good for learning kanji. Um, What? (laughs) Basically, it'll take a word spelled out in one alphabet, but then give you this succinct but harder to learn representation from a different alphabet above that word. So it's like because it's for for all ages, uh, kids don't. No con like know all the kanji. I think you need to know three thousand to be fluent or something. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, but I, yeah, I think the main selling point for me is um, that it is slowly rewarding. Like the the best part is I can come back to my town. There's an ordinance because um, you're the mayor in New Leaf, and so you can be like, oh yeah, the flowers will never die in my town. Make it so, and then you come back and your town's still beautiful. And it just, it fills me with so much joy. I just, and then the animals are your friends. <laughs> Don't talk to Justin Haywald. You guys will just lose the entire day talking about Animal Crossing. It's all he ever talks about. It's true. That I and Cross. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh man. Don't even get me started. Oh, jeez. Did you play Pokemon Picross? No. Uh, oh man. What, uh, did we miss any, I mean, we missed a bunch, but yeah. those are the ones we want to talk about. Any others you want to touch on? We didn't. I do want to say how excited I am for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because yeah. they're mm. adding a bunch of stuff and they're adding two items like in Double Dash, um, which every Double Dash is always everyone's favorite. Yeah, it is. So, um, yeah, the GameCube Mario Kart game, if you are not familiar. But so they're adding a bunch of new features and uh, Mario Kart is like the one game that I will challenge anyone to. I'll get very aggressive. Um, so I'm excited for that. I want to see new pilot wings. Yeah. People oh. in the chat were mentioning that, too. I didn't love the one on 64 or the weird one like Pilot Wings Resort on 3DS, but the original Super Nintendo one was pitch perfect, I think. Yeah. Get it? Pitch? Plane? Jeez. Thank you. Is that- it was y'all perfect. <laughs> oh. But with, <laughs> but, but with the new controls, I think you could integrate like that weird rumble feature pretty well to like mimic the feeling of like rudders or engines failing or like different stuff like that. I'm grasping at straws here, but... Uh, there's a bunch of people. Yatsobu on the YouTube chat is one of a few people saying Advance Wars. Did you ever play Advance Wars? Oh, oh yeah. Intelligent yeah. Systems, the, the company, the studio behind um, Fire Emblem games, uh, they made Advance Wars, and those games were really solid. Fire Emblem, like, sort of has supplanted it, but mm-hmm. I think there's definitely room. And people are making homages to that series now, which says it's yeah. about time Nintendo funds another one of those. I'd li- That's a good call. I was gonna say I liked. Uh, I did not play Fates yet, still, but I liked Awakening a lot. I wasn't. Yeah. I'm not too psyched for um, Fire Emblem Warriors. Yeah. Oh I liked, man. I thought Hyrule Warriors was fun for like a day. Yeah. I I was really into Warriors games when I was in high school, and so I felt like, oh, I'm the I am the exact market for Fire mm. Emblem Warriors. I still have to play Fates though. Yeah, me um, too. Both of them. Yeah, three. There's three. All three of them. That's what I meant. Just play Revelations. <laughs> just, just, just play just, Revelations. Just, You'll yeah. be fine. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, um, obviously there's a lot of Nintendo franchise we did not touch on. Uh, it's not just Nintendo anymore, but the uh, 20th anniversary of Symphony of the Night's coming up. Uh, I know there have been Castlevania games on Nintendo platforms before. Symphony of the Night's one of my favorite games. I would love to talk about Castlevania extensively. Maybe next month for the 20th anniversary of Symphony of the Night. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you guys have any franchise where you wanted to talk about, leave it in the chat right now. Uh, I'll try to call it out. But also, in the comments below, if you're watching on YouTube or on GameSpot, and uh, feel free to tweet at any one of us. Tell us why we should have talked about, uh, I don't know, Cross more. Yeah. Yeah, or Balloon Fight more. Or Balloon Fight. <laughs> or Nintendo Land. 